everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. We're going to be creating a really nice colourful background using our Elements inks and our stencil brushes. We've got some multifarious card here that I've cut down to about, it's a 4x4. Four four. We've got Merlot, Blue Lagoon, we've got Pine and we've got Sahara. Today we're going to be using our Hill Mask just to create some lovely colourful hills. Pop that down round about there and then we're starting with Merlot. Now remember that the Elements ink pads are really juicy so just take a little off first, test it um, and then we're just going to sweep that beautiful colour over the top and building up a depth by just carefully adding gradually. And then we're moving on to Blue Lagoon. So sweep that across the top again. You want it to be a nice deep colour because we're creating a night scene. If you build your colour gradually you're less likely to get brush strokes. And you know what, at the end of the day it's handmade, it's handcrafted, so nothing is ever going to be perfect, and nor do we want it to be. It's handmade. So, what mask are we going to use next? We'll use a different one. So I'm using the Sahara now. Take that over the top. And we're going to bring in some of the pine just to give it a little bit of depth. I'm just putting that down at the bottom here. And then going back to our other mask, go back to the yellow first. Let's put a little bit of blue in. The darker colours always define the edge, so. And then lastly, I'm going, just going to add a little bit more of the Merlot. That just changes that colour completely, giving a really nice sort of purple. Now I think those four colours, really, they look fabulous together and the tones that you can get just by blending them. I think that looks great. We're going to dry this now. We're going to emboss some trees 
in white so I need to make sure that this background is completely dry okay so another little trick um, is using an anti-static bag as well and just sweep that in the area that you're going to be embossing and now taking our lovely trees from our tree set I'm going to just gently tap the Versa mark which is what we use with embossing powders and I'm going to pop that around about there give that a press and then taking one of our other trees from the set again using the Versa mark just tap lightly and I'm going to pop that next to it round about there and then we've got our bright white opaque sprinkle that over the top tap off let's pop that back in there and let's heat those up and this will just simply uh, set the embossing powders making them a lovely bright white as you can see and that really stands out nice so now I'm using some thistles, some silhouette thistles and our twilight Versafine Claire and then we'll just pop those down here give that a good press and then we've got some grass this time I'm going to ink up in warm breeze slightly larger grass here as well and then this time I'm going to ink up in twilight stamps here one of our smaller ones which goes really nice just fills in any areas that we um, it's a little bit empty so I'm just going to add a little bit more color I always find the little stamps so, so handy
Now again I'm going to dry this area off because I'm going to do a bit of embossing again down here. And taking our anti-static bag again. And this time we're going to use a little foliage stamp Now if you haven't got any of these stamps, don't worry, you can use other stamps. I'm just using these because I've got them here. But you can mix and match. I'm inking up now in the Versamark. And I'm just popping a few of the flowers down the bottom. And do one at the side as well okay and this time we've got opaque primary frozen and I'm hoping that that will stick only on the areas that I've stamped that's not bad Pop that in there. Now if if the uh, embossing powders are stuck to anywhere where you don't want, then just use a fine brush and just tidy it up a little. Should be fine and we'll go back to our heat gun and you can see how those lovely blue flowers really do pop out now on top of that background So to blend this in now, I'm going to use one of our Posca pens. Um, this is like a, this is ivory, but you can use a beige or a white. Um, and I'm literally just going to just draw a couple of wiggly lines. again just next to the trees just a few little blades of grass and foliage and by creating layers it just gives us a nice depth we're going to ink up our jumping hair twilight I think make sure he's completely covered and then let's pop him down round about there give that a good press and there he is Lastly, let's have a look. We can use a little bit of our pan pastels, I think, just to create a moon up here.
and then we'll pop some stars in the sky. got a yellow Posca here as well. I'm just going to bring in a few little dots down at the bottom here. And there we go. Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves and create some of those lovely layers using different colours. As I say, if you haven't got the colours I've been using today, then just experiment with what you've got. Um, you'd be amazed really at how lovely the uh, elements blend together.